English actor, director and author Sir John Gielgud was a star of stage, screen, radio and television, with a career spanning much of the 20th century. You feel unloved, Arthur. Welcome to the world. While most renowned for his Shakespearean roles, regarded as the finest Hamlet of his era, Gielgud's career laid the foundation for modern theatre. A Londoner, Gielgud was born into a theatrical family and was captivated by the escapism of acting as a child. It does give me pleasure and I suppose always has done. After training at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in 1923, he went on to play a wide range of classic and modern roles. His big screen debut came in 1924 in the silent film Who Was the Man? When I met Noel Carr, the first real chances I had were to follow him and understudy him in two plays and take over his parts. And soon debuted on Broadway as Grand Duke Alexander and The Patriot in 1928. Gilgood sharpened his skills as a Shakespearean actor at London's Old Vic Theatre, earning widespread acclaim. Piteous overthrows. His first taste of commercial success came with J.B. Priestley's The Good Companions, going on to star in the 1933 big screen adaptation. After a short run directing his own theatre company between 1937-38, Gilgood produced and starred in the acclaimed 1939 production of Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest. Tasting the glitz and glamour of 1950s Hollywood, Gilgood returned to London and was knighted in the 1953 Coronation Honours. Soon after, his sexuality made headlines, Victorian laws making sex between men illegal until the 1960s, but his career and success continued. Brought you the evening paper. Such a lot of nonsense. Shying away from cinema during his early years, Gilgood appeared in over 60 films between 1964 and 98. Notable works include Charge of the Light Brigade, The Elephant Man, Chariots of Fire and Arthur, for which he won an Oscar in 1981. You obviously have a wonderful economy with words, Gloria. West End and Broadway success continue with David Story's Home in 1970, starring alongside Ralph Richardson. Oh, yes. Gilgood's Tony Award-winning performance for his one-man show, The Ages of Man, saw his recital go on to win a Grammy in 1979. From 1977 to 89, Gilgood was RADA president, becoming the Academy's first honorary fellow. His success continued on radio and into the new age of television, including the 1976 TV adaptation of Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray, Brideshead Revisited in 1982, followed by Summer's Lease winning an Emmy Award in 1991. My son-in-law. In 1996, the Globe Theatre in Shaftesbury Avenue was renamed the Gilgood Theatre in his honour. Gilgood's final feature film appearance was alongside Kate Blanchett in the 1998 pyrodrama Elizabeth. In 2000, one year after his long-term partner Martin Hensler's passing, Sir John Gilgood died, aged 96. His exhaustive career and unquestionable success inspiring today's generation of aspiring actors. We are such stuff as dreams are made of.